What is up guys, in this video I'm gonna show you how you can make a dub chord sound in the classic Silent One VST. This is the sound that we're gonna create today. Ready? Let's jump straight into the tutorial. Okay, so we start by loading up Silent. I have programmed this basic MIDI pattern for the tutorial. Just so we have some chord steps. So the first thing we do is that we crank up the polyphony to 8. We go to oscillator A1, select the saw tooth wavetable. We're gonna set the voices to 3, pull up a little bit of D2. Then we're gonna go to oscillator A2, we're gonna select the sine wave, pull up the voices to around 3, put it to not being re-triggered. Then we're gonna add a little bit of D2, and then we're gonna put down the octave. Next, we're gonna go to part B. We're gonna select for oscillator B1, we're gonna select a noise oscillator, put the voices up to three. Then we're gonna decrease the volume a little bit to around five. Then for oscillator B2, we select the tri saw waveform, put this to, let's just put it to five voices, put this not to be re-triggered, put up a little bit of detune, and then put the octave to plus one. Next, we go to the filter settings. Firstly, I want to route all of the oscillators through filter A. So we go to part B and we select no input. We go back to part A. Then we select this to have both oscillator A and oscillator B going through filter A. Gonna select a low pass filter, put the cutoff to around here, put up the resonance to around here. And then I like to add a little bit of drive. So we have something like this. So it's now starting to sound a little bit more warm. Next, we go to the master filter control and set the cutoff to around here, put up the resonance to around here, and then I like to have warm drive enabled. Next, we need to go to the envelope settings. So I want to crank up the decay all the way, sustain, reduce a little bit, and then I want to have a tiny amount of release. Same goes for part B, up with the decay, and then I want to go around here with the sustain, and a little bit of release. Then we navigate to mod envelope one and select the cutoff A and B and put up the amount to around here. And then we change the envelope settings to have the decay to this level, a little bit of release and a tiny amount of sustain. So think around here. So let's have a listen to it. So we get like a more plucky kind of sound. And now we go to the most important thing, and that is the LFO section. So we go to LFO 1, and it's important to select the free form, so it's running freely, it's not being synced to the tempo. And I like to have the basic sine wave, put up the rate, up with the gain, and then we select the cutoff A and B. So it's modulating the cutoff A and B. And then we put the amount around here. This is a matter of just playing around where the sweet spot is. So let's just play the sound. So as you can hear, like the filter is both opening and closing, and it's doing it like more like randomly because the syncing of the LFO is put to free mode. And before it's even closely to have like this stop chord sound, we actually need to add some delay and some reverb. So we go to the delay, and then I like to have the low cut to around 200 hertz, so it's not messing with the low end. And then I want to remove some of the high end. Then I like to set this to 1 8 dotted, for both the left and right, have it on ping pong mode, put the width to around here, get a little bit more feedback because I want like a long tail and then put up a dry width. So we get something like this. Then we go to reverb, put up the size, reduce the width a little bit so we don't get like too wide of a sound and put down the pre-delay to around here and a little bit of width. So we have something like this. So now we're starting to get into those top chord sounds. I think we should increase the volume a little bit. Next, I want to add a chorus as well, just to give it some more width. Reduce the width a little bit of the chorus. Have the dry width around here. Awesome. So right now it's actually a matter of trying to find the sweet spot for the cutoff for cutoff filter A, and also the amount in the LFO section, and also the rate. 
So I'm just gonna play around with these settings and then try to find a sweet spot. So I think around here sounds really, really nice to me. And I just encourage you to try to switch out the wave tables of the oscillators if you want to have like a different sound. We can try to swap out this saw wave with a pulse wave instead and see if it sounds any more interesting. Amazing. Okay guys, that's it for this video. I really hope it showed you how to make cool dub chord sounds in Silent One. Even though that this VST is a little bit old, it can still produce some amazing sounds. If you liked the video, it means so much to me if you would smash that like button or even subscribe to the channel. And if you want to support me even further, I have some sample packs and some preset packs on my web shop. You can go check them out. The link is in the description down below. So I hope to see you in the next one. Take care. Peace. Well,